currently 19 degrees here in Central Maryland. Your complete first morning weather forecast is still coming up. WJZ stays live tonight. Rochelle Ritchie is live downtown with how all of this snow and these chilly t uh, conditions are impacting travel this evening. Rochelle? But good evening, Jessica. I'm here with the Mobile Weather Lab outside of Penn Station. And right now, we are going to have an update on conditions in a few minutes. But right now, I should say, is I want to give you a little bit of an idea of what it's like to travel uh, at this time. Now, Penn Station hasn't seen too much of a problem. I only noticed one cancellation, but BWI has hundreds of flights already canceled. Heavy white snow falls at the BWI airport, making for extremely low visibility. Plows are working nonstop to clear the tarmac. We do expect some widespread cancellations and delays as the afternoon progresses into the evening. For those hoping to fly out tonight, the white powder, not a welcome sight. Because if we miss our flight, we stuck. So here, Malik and his wife are heading to Hong Kong and are concerned they won't be able to inform their daughter, who is meeting them there, of the messy weather. And there's no way for us to contact her right now to even let her know that we might be stranded and we may not make it there. The arrival and departure board here at BWI is already filling up with cancellations and delays and some people aren't finding out until they actually get to the airport. We were on the super shuttle on the way here and we found out that our flight had been canceled so we rebooked for tomorrow but thought there was a chance to get on a slightly earlier flight that had been delayed. Getting to the airport is also an issue. Cars moving at a snail's pace over the snow-covered pavement. Here on Interstate 195, you can see that plows are out plowing the roads to get rid of a lot of that snow and slush that has accumulated over the last few hours. Whether it's planes, trains, or automobiles, everyone has taken the initiative to be cautious. The MTA started preparing for this winter storm last night, and so far we've had no issues. MTA officials say platforms and tracks have been salted. However, the MART train is only operating the pin line due to the closure of the federal government. We advise everyone to please allow for extra time for travel today. And that is the advice that many officials are giving people today. A matter of fact, some are saying that if you don't have to travel, don't go outside at all. Of course, if you do have a flight leaving from BWI, I can tell you right now, you should definitely check uh, the airline that you're flying with and make sure that that plane is still on time. For now, we're live tonight at Penn Station. I'm Rochelle Ritchie, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, Rochelle, thank you. And for the latest on the road conditions, let's send it inside to Christy Breslin at WJZ Traffic Control. Hi, Christy. Hi, Jess. Hi, everyone. Well, as you can imagine, this is causing a lot of accidents. The main roadways continue to move very, very slowly around 95 in the Beltway. That's moving at about an average of 35 miles an hour. Now, moving over to the accidents, northbound 95 at Dundalk Avenue, northbound 295 at 195, southbound 295 at 175, two accidents along 100 in the eastbound direction. The first at 97 and the second one over at Route 10. Also watch for a crash eastbound 32 at Telegraph Road, followed by 29 southbound at Old Columbia Road and Reisterstown Road at Hammershire Road. Let's now take a live look. As you can see, things are moving along, but everybody needs to really just take it slow because the roads are so slick at this point and things just continue. Snow just continues to come down. This traffic report is brought to you by Al Packer Ford White Marsh for the best service, selection, and value, visit Al Packer Ford in White Marsh, alpacker.com, before you buy Price Packer. Back over to you. Christy, thank you. Bob is here with us now. All right. Uh, it's going to continue probably till about 11 o'clock tonight, so we're not done with the snow, and the cold will come in later tonight. And it's going to at least, we'll see sun tomorrow, but it's going to be bitter cold. Right now, take a look at temperatures ranging between the upper teens to the low 20s. They therefore just jump back up to 20. North, northeast winds at 12. The uh, wind chill down around 9 above. The barometer currently holding steady. Come back and take a look at what we have on store for tonight and tomorrow. Right after this.